Hi guys, it's Lynn here. I hope everyone's having an incredible day. Now guys, this is vlog number five of our cacti and succulent uh, plant rearranging in the polytunnel outside there. And um, we left it for a week. The last one was uh, last week, vlog number four. And we, me and Hansi have been really, really, really busy. And um, I'm still getting over this horrible, nasty cold virus I've had for almost two months. As you can probably still hear it a little bit in my, in my throat. So um, I haven't had a lot of energy to do what I normally would do. As, as so and being incredibly busy and having to work and everything else on top of it. Um, we have not had a chance to carry on, but this is uh, a week later and we're going to carry on with the polytunnel. As you can see, that's an incredibly sunny day. The weather's been pretty good here the past few days. And um, the, all the right hand side of the polytunnel is pretty much done. We've got the left hand side to do and um, a few other things. So um, it's going to be fun and games, guys. And if you haven't seen um, the last video vlog we did, links up above to... Um, couple of the videos we did with vlog number one and vlog number four to see how we're getting on with the polytunnel and um, this is uh, going to be day number five and um, let's get going then shall we guys couldn't ask for better weather <laughs> now it's the polytunnel here and um, got a lot to sort out as you can see this all on the floor here is all going to be sorted out we've got another table there that we're going to be putting up here on the left hand side and putting a lot of the plants onto there and we have all these on the floor that need to go up onto tables we're going to be rearranging all this plant stand here <coughs> now all this <coughs> on this right hand side has all been done the, the last week we did all the aloes the gasterias the hawarthias um, all put them all to all together and that's wonderful and look at that in flower guys that's gorgeous so stay tuned for video when it's all completely opened at the top it's absolutely beautiful nalo there and um wonderful things we have another gasteria variegated form there coming into magnificent bloom and some more ga gasteria there with blooms and look at this guy isn't this wonderful a graptopetalum and this beautiful calanchoe there so it's wonderful to see so much in bloom but this has all been rearranged and we've tried to group as much as the plants that are like like similar genuses all together in the in the genus and um, here we have sort of more the epiphytic ones there as well we have some detouras at the back and um, we have all the epiphytes hanging up they're going to be um, repop uh, replanted into the hanging baskets so we've got a lot to do there but uh, this is what we've done so far and as I say um, the other videos we did last week showed us in detail what we were doing when we rearranged all of this and I've got all this on the floor to deal with uh, I'll just show you the back has been done we grouped all the apuntures all together there but um, and this is sort of almost done we did some of the um, echinopsis together we still have a few more to rearrange but this is sort of getting sorted so that will be possibly done um, either today or tomorrow but um, here we're going to be dealing with a lot of the ones on the floor and as I say first thing first me and Hansi are going to be putting up the table getting all of these out and putting them onto the table perfect day for it because obviously <coughs> Um, when the weather's great it's much easier because you can just put plants outside into the yard and then it gives us all the space to work around when it's raining it's difficult to do that but as I say um, we have the ones we already arranged last week outside here they're doing really really well out in the sun enjoying the lovely weather we have in here and this amazing table here was um, given to us by our wonderful friend uh, Sean um, who's also my, my ex-partner who's a very good friend both to me and Hansi and isn't it just the most incredible incredible um, outside, outside table guys it's wrought iron it's lovely um, very very beautiful style age to that absolutely gorgeous has little roses in it there so me and Hans are going to be sitting out on that when we have our our vegan meal later absolutely beautiful enjoying the sun out here what a cracking day guys that's just absolutely beautiful and um got the carnivores out there and a few little plants that we're propagating outdoor plants here some of the oaks they're doing remarkable well and look at this gorgeous this is gifted to us from the wonderful Shane our friend Shane Walsh who lives in Killarney um, a lot of you will know him he has an amazing YouTube channel already so do check him out guys if you're not familiar you've got amazing cacti and succulents too this is from the oak from the Killarney National Park 
here in uh, here in Ireland, in Southern Ireland. Beautiful, that's all growing here. We've got a mixture of everything, oaks from different parts of the world, all starting to take form, which is very exciting. And um, as I say, back to the polytunnel. In. <laughs> We're going to be taking all of this out and rearranging. Now, obviously it's not going to be done all today. Probably going to take us all all into the weekend. Hans is uh, working the weekend. He's a musician, so he's going to be gigging away the weekend. So I'm going to try and get as much done while we're both together, lifting the plants and everything, and then I'm going to be carrying on after and uh, see how much we can get done today, guys. So um, there we go. That's what it looks like now. And um, we're going to start putting the table up and show you um, in the stages how we get on with this all. Now guys, that's the whole left hand side, all the plants, that was sort of everywhere, all taken out into the yard, as you can see here, a lot of them all outside, and they've given it all a bit of a brush and pan, so to get rid of a lot of the soil that sort of fell out the pots, and now I'm going to put the, the plant table up there, and then I'm going to start rearranging the plants into their genus order. Now that's the plant table put up and um, all the new black trays on here to put the plants on. And what we're going to be doing here is obviously, as they're putting them into genus order, we have all the, um, the aloes gasterias and hawartias and all the other types of succulents all put together, so the epiphyllums over there. And we're going to do the same on this table. Now, this is sort of half done on here. We've got a few plants everywhere. So we're going to start, uh, because we have a lot of plants on the floor, I'm going to start putting the biggest group, which is the Preschiopsis and the Preschias, which we have here. I'm going to start off with putting them probably from here and then work my way along on the different types of groups. As I say, we're going to start with the largest group. We have the Lophophorus down there. They're going to be coming up here too and um, working the way around. We haven't got tons left to work with. This just has to all be re-put into order. And um, as I say, then I'll know exactly where I am with a bit more space. But I'm going to start on the, with the Peres Peresky and the Periscopsis here on this tray and then start on putting them onto there. I'm going to show you what it looks like when I've done that. Now guys, that's the Pereschiopsis and the Pereschia varieties all grouped together here on the trays. And as I say, we put the tallest two Pereschias, Godsefianas, um, at the back because they're the largest ones. And we have a load of little baby ones all around it. And we have the other Pereschiop, Pereschia Grandiflora here and our other Pereschia here, Diaz Romaniana as well. And then we've got the Pereschiopsis. Um, which are commonly used as grafting plants, but we use these just because we like them. Um, all here, and that's them done. Now I'm going to start putting up some of the Lophophoras and um, the other sort of Mexican style cacti going around them. There you go, guys. That's the first two table uh, trays filled up there. We have the Preschiopsis and the Pere. Pereschia all at the back and we have a mixture of some Lophophora and some of the, the Mexican type of cacti such as the Matucana and um, also the um, some the Ariocarpus and the um, Azticium and also the Ulbomania as well a little Matucana so a, a little mellow cactus there Hans grew from seed and um, some of the other ones there these are all little Lophophoras that we grew from seed and um, that's pretty much it for this table here. We have a little Frithia pulcher because I lost another one last year. So this is a recent new addition. And a Turbini carpus there. And um, a little mixture of everything. But that's all, all pretty much done. And now just for these three plant tables here. I think what I'm going to do next is I'm going to be using the Stapelia de C.E. Um, variety of uh, plants here. The Huneas, the Stapelias and um, to see what we've got out here, how many there is to do. Yep, not too many here, so um, that's going to be the next, the next thing I'm going to be putting on that table. Now guys, it's always good when you're sorting out plants, because these are the ones that we had overwintering indoors in our plant rooms inside the house. Um, obviously because they're not cold hardy enough, so we've had to, we're just bringing these out now. But um, these are the Stapelias, and this is one of the Hoodias. Um, and look at the size of that mealybug guys and it's always good to check there's some more on there so I'm checking every single plant that I put away and what I like to use for for mealybugs is a bit of the isopropyl rubbing alcohol in here put a little bit in here with a little tiny little makeup brush and I just um, 
literally go over them and it gets if you've only got a few little individual mealy bugs like this then it's easy to use the alcohol to individually dab them off and it sort of kills them on contact which is a humane way um, I don't like killing anything I'm a vegan um, and I don't like any type of animal or even insect killing but unfortunately when you grow plants as you know yourselves it's impossible to live pest free it doesn't matter what you do so I was look at the most humane way and also the most natural way good for prevention is neem oil and I have made a couple of videos on how to use neem oil to prevent and also to treat pests as well but I always find it if you've only got one or two like this we can just dab off it's good just to use the rubbing alcohol it's a bit time consuming but in this case there's only a few so it's not a problem there but um, neem oil is a great preventative and I'm also going to be um, doing when all of these plants have been all put away nice and neatly I will then going to be treating them all with a neem oil spray and um, also I'm going to be treating some to a bit of a soil drench as well just as a prevention to keep pests at bay so watch out for a video when I do that and um, links up above to a couple of videos I made on how to use neem oil um, on house plants and cacti and that might uh, help you out should you want to use it to prevent as I say I haven't been using the neem oil on these ones this one was one that was in the in the plant room and um, as you can see that's possibly why it's got bugs I can, the ones I have used it on I have to say I haven't had any problems so it definitely works guys and it's a good natural treatment you do have to use it a good few applications to make sure you keep pests at bay um, but as I say the alcohol is great for the odd the odd infestation Now that's all the stapelias and the huneas all put away there and a couple of succulents we've got tested in area elephantipes and an idria columnaris there and these amazing little stapelia seedlings but these seeds were gifted to me by my wonderful friend Olga from Olga's Dreamland and if you're not familiar with Olga and guys I'm sure a lot of you would know Olga um, links up above to Olga's fantastic YouTube channel Olga's Dreamland so thank you um, dear Olga these seeds seedlings are doing remarkable these little stapelias look at them and there's a little interloper that's a sort of coming with the seeds <laughs> and it looks like from this little seedling here as if it's in a puncher and I never sowed it <laughs> I just sowed the stapelia so I think this is a little a puncher seedling that's sort of come in and uh, wanted to be um, wanted to be germinated <laughs> so it's gonna be interesting to see what it is but it looking at that it's got little spines on it and the way the leaves are forming it looks like it's a little puncher that's got into the into the seed pack that's very exciting there <laughs> Now with the fourth plant tray, I'm going to be putting the um, Mammillarias on this tray here. As I see, Mammillaria is a very large genus of cacti. And we, we don't have a massive variety of Mammillaria, but we do have a nice variety. So I'm going to start off by obviously putting the taller ones at the back and the smaller ones at the front. Oh, guys, I was just moving my beautiful, very old, very, very old Parodia and um, the Leningauziae and as I picked it up it just sort of wobbled at the base just looked at that completely rotten right at the base um, I don't know whether well I'm hoping I can do an emergency um, operation on this to save it I'm going to ask uh, ask Conzi for, um, for a bit of help on this he's very good at, he always helps to uh, save my plants um, very disappointed to see this um, very sad as I say, um, we lost quite a few plants overwintering them for the first time in the polytunnel. Um, as I say, we kept everything at a minimum of about 7 degrees Celsius. Never really, I think the lowest it ever dropped was below 4 because we have a heater that kicks on. So it's not the cold. I think sadly it was the damp that caused the damage um, during the house move. A lot of the plants got soaked, sadly, because we had to keep them outside until we had the polytunnel delivered. And um, too late in the year, I think they will still keep, normally we let our plants completely dry out, <clears throat> usually by the end of August. It wasn't the case. I think that's what's been the biggest problem this year. <clears throat> Sadly, hopefully we'll be able to do an emergency operation on this. I'm going to leave this just for now because I get distracted very easy. So um, lucky this looks very healthy, all of this party. It looks like it's purely just at the base. So I um, should be able to make a clean cut. So stay, uh, stay tuned to what happens with that. If not in this video, then probably in tomorrow's video. 
Um, but just say where we're doing so far, then I made a lot of progress. Um, nearly seven o'clock, so me and Hans are going to sit outside and have something to eat. As I say, <clears throat> I've rearranged all this again. I did this the other day, as you know. Um, rearranged the Echinopsis, there's a bit more space. Because I've actually got quite a lot of space left over, which is very good. We sort of put everything away as much as we could. Um, leaving spaces so when we repot we can put them back in the same place again but very pleased to find we've got all this space extra other than just what's on the floor here so we can spread a few more plants out and it's going to be a lot more roomy so what i'm doing i've spread out the echinopsises and the proteas and just re um re displaying it all here and i'm going to show you what it looks like after it's all done now guys, I've had a real move around. Uh, I have obviously rearranged all the Echinopsises and I have moved the Ferro Cacti and the Echino Cacti from um, over there and put them over here because we've got a lot more space and obviously they look better when there's more space to be rearranged. So what I've done here <coughs> is I've put some of the Parodias and um, the Tello Cacti and also the ferro cacti here as you can see and i'm still sort of rearranging a few things but i think that's going to be me for tonight because time is getting on i mean hansi wants some food so we're going to have some pasta and um some vegetables <laughs> and uh, that sounds very good to me to relax then for the night now obviously the poor poor plant out here the um parodia unfortunately um it's starting to get late so i'm going to carry on with that probably do an emergency operation on that in the morning um i can't see it spreading too much so that will be in tomorrow's vlog um i was cutting that i'll probably ask hansi for his help because it's good if you can get another pair of hands to help you when it comes to cutting and hansi's sort of great at sort of saving plants <laughs> now there's just obviously all these out here to put into the polytunnel tomorrow and rearrange but that's a big 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 thing we've done so far today anyway as you can see here i think that's going to be me for tonight um what i'm going to be doing now is this is practically as much as i can do i'm just going to rearrange these in fact what i'm going to do because there's only this little bit here left i might as well move them um that is there some of the a little it's an astrophytum some gymnocalyceums i think it's just the gymnocalyceums left except for the astrophytum nudum so i might as well put them here and then that leaves the back back table free for the remaining succulents and the few that's sort of on the floor <laughs> and I can finish that off then tomorrow now I'm at college tomorrow horticultural college but I finish at three o'clock so I'm going to be carrying on with it tomorrow afternoon into the evening again and I'm um, all fun but um looks like so far so good so I'm just going to finish off over there and that's going to be me for the night that's all the plants taken off there all on here as you can see they look a lot better and there's a lot more space as well so it's going to be easier easier to water them and lots of space around them for when we pot them on now this is a table it's really moldy as you can see <laughs> so this is going to be thrown away and it's actually warped so um it would have been a bit worrying it would have took the weight of the plants this is going to be thrown out no good at all and um probably either get another table for that corner or maybe um put the plants sort of stand them up as they are standalone on there i'm not quite sure but that's going to be thrown out tomorrow <laughs> but um that's done anyway so um look so much better and so happy to see so much space around the plants now we've got a few underneath here some of the mother of thousands the kalanchoe tubifloras and um <coughs> they'll probably go on one of the little tables that we've got so we've got here i'll just show you out here yep we've got this here and that comes apart in different layers so we've got loads more loads more space going to put probably one of the one of them there and also i may even put the other one in this corner there to replace that table I'm not quite sure but that's it for tonight and i'm going to be carrying on over the weekend um and yep that's pretty much it <laughs> so guys stay tuned for um vlog number six coming probably tomorrow if i get chance after college if not on saturday <laughs> so guys i hope you enjoyed the video and um i want to send you loads of love heaps of happiness and tons and tons of plant power as always from ireland and until the next video guys bye